Okay, so I was talking to a Christian, a self-described Christian, and um, and they were talking to me about the concept of hatred. They're saying that I'm uh, I seem like a, a, a hateful person. I seem like I'm full of hate. <laughs> Um, well, I'm not going to say that I'm full of hate. Um, you know, people tend to, what they do is they say, oh, you think this or you feel this. And I say, uh, no, no, not really. And then they double down and they say, yeah, yeah, you are. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm thinking. <laughs> you know, okay. So, um, just, <laughs> well, I'm going to talk about hate, and I want to, um, I just want to drive home a few points uh, about hatred and demons. And I'm talking to a Christian, keep in mind, I'm talking to a Christian, and Christians, what they like is uh, Bible verses. They only listen to you if you use Bible verses. And I've got a perfect set of Bible verses for this one Christian in particular. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't say that I am a hateful person, um, but, but, hypothetic, hypothetically, it, uh, <laughs> if, if I was a hateful person, if I was full of hate, uh, I wouldn't want to exactly uh, justify that hate. Uh, well, you, you, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see what I'm talking about. So, basically the one thing that this Christian was telling me is that um, only God is supposed to have righteous anger or hatred, righteous righteousness, uh, and and that's that's some passage in the Bible somewhere. I I believe that. I believe that one hundred percent. It's just that uh, there are things in the Bible that kind of contradict each other, um, especially in prophecies. Um, that's another thing I want to talk about is prophecies. I have this idea that prophecies could be, could be, possibly, 50-50, flip of a coin, demonic. Prophecies could be demonic because, well, a prophecy is written by a human being, that's a fact, human being uh, who had a vision. They had a vision, human being had a vision, they wrote it down, that's a fact. We can dispute all day who it came from, um, wh where the vision came from, but 50-50, flip of a coin, came from a demon, the demon lied to that person. Okay, uh, I'm just saying I don't know uh, where that vision came from. I mean, people have visions all the time and write down there. In fact, just this morning I had a dream which might be a psychic dream and I wrote it down it would uh, it might uh, possibly turn out to be false in which case that was a false vision not every vision turns out to be true not every dream is true or uh, in sync with reality it's a lie from a demon essentially so uh, the passage that I want to get into is Revelation 17, 12 to 18. So Revelation, this, this section of Revelation, it explains very clearly that the whore and the beast consist of that great city peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues and that they have one mind uh, 
and then it goes on to uh, say that eventually they shall hate the whore and destroy her. Um, so this says two things, essentially. This tells us two things. Number one is that demons essentially are people, uh, collectively. It's the collective mind. It's the world soul or the zeitgeist. There's a million different words for it. Uh, and so uh, a demon is like a, a thought or a collection of thoughts or a consciousness or a collection of consciousness. It's uh, hierarchical, like it explains in the Bible. It's Everyone knows that spirituality is hierarchical. Uh, so a, a, a bad thought, uh, such as hatred is an example of a demon uh, so uh, the hatred that exists in you uh, is a little demon um, and the hatred that just exists in general in everyone in everything the little bit of hatred that's in everything collectively is a big demon and that just makes sense uh, because it, it explains how uh, they as in the the demon shall hate the demon the demon hates itself and destroys itself that's basically what it's saying the demon that's the second thing it says the demons destroy themselves demons are so confusing <laughs> but that's the point isn't it uh, because a demon isn't a logical entity. It is the opposite of logic. It is ignorance. It is confusion. Chaos. Um, the demon is hatred, and, and hatred rate, uh, is increased in, in the form of this whore and beast. And then eventually, people who make up this hatred the masses all around the world who make up this this great demon of hatred starts hating that demon okay it's it's made up of the demons in everyone and yet these people are hateful there, there's an increase in hatred uh, in in this revelation um, and these hateful people who make up the demon, uh, through their hatred, destroy the demon. Uh, and another thing I want to add is that it's, in some ways, it's, it's kind of a righteous hatred. It's, I know it's, it doesn't really make sense, but... Well, it makes sense, because hatred, in general, you know, is bad, and it's demonic. Um, but in the next, after it says this, in, in uh, Revelation 17, 17, it says, For God hath put hate in their hearts to fulfill his will, until the words of God shall be fulfilled. God put hate in their hearts and now uh, is where all those people come out of the woodwork and say um, <laughs> well they, they psychoanalyze God they say well God, God's sitting there ha 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 I'm going to put hate in their hearts um, or, or they say oh you know why, why would God do that why would, why would God create demons why would God do all this stuff <clears throat> um, there's so many answers first of all I would say that well maybe this prophecy was written by a, a demon okay 50-50 <laughs> uh, flip, flip of a coin you don't know but uh, the second answer is that well you could basically and it's talking about God's will and you know every, everything's God's will I mean uh, people who don't believe in God that's God's will. I mean, you could say that about literally everything. 
<laughs> okay. Um, the, 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 uh, it's, it's almost like there's no point in even saying that because literally everything is God's will, okay? And God isn't, isn't some uh, powerful... God isn't a space ghost with superpowers looking down on the earth saying, ah, oh, you are hateful. Um, that's, uh, that's a dualist um, view of God. That's a dualist view of God. It's like it's straight out of Scientology. Because Scientology is a dualist religion. A lot of Christians in America today, in the last few decades, um, believe in that kind of Scientology definition of God, the dualist definition of God. And, uh, you know, when I say to Christians, when I say I can prove the existence of God, you'd think that Christians would be like, uh, oh, nice, someone can prove the existence of God. And, uh, no, they say, they say, no, you're wrong, you're evil, uh, and it's because your definition of God isn't the right definition of God. <laughs> My definition of God is the authentic Christian definition of God, which is the monist definition of God. And Christians, uh, all Christians throughout 99.9% uh, of history uh, were monist Christians that believed in the monist uh, definition of God. Even Christians today who exist outside of the United States of America believe in the monist definition of God. Um, and I, I can prove that because, for example, the Russian Orthodox Church teaches, they actually teach, divine simplicity, which is something that should be taught among all Christians, uh, even Christians in the United States. But it's not. Christianity is monist, okay? Um, and um, uh, you know, I can't prove the existence of the dualist God. Uh, I don't think that the dualist God exists. Um, it's like Scientology. It, <laughs> literally, Christians in America so in the past few decades are literal Scientologists. They don't believe what's in the Bible. They take what's in the Bible, okay, and then they, and then they throw it in the trash, and then just take stuff from Scientology. That literally, it, <laughs> space ghosts. Uh, where, where in the Bible does it talk about space ghosts? Literally nowhere in the Bible does it talk about space ghosts, or, or even suggest. In, in a lot of places, the Bible explicitly explains. I, we're not talking about space ghosts. We're talking about. The collective consciousness. <laughs> okay. Um, if a, if an edgy teenager, edgy atheist teenager, walks up to you and says, "Oh, well, if God created everything, then who created God?" Um, hypothetically, if that happened, then what one could uh, say to that edgy atheist teenager is, "Ah." Edgy atheist teenager, that's a really good argument against dualism. However, uh, Christians are not dualists. Um, because since around the 60s, uh, there have been uh, taxpayer-funded United States government programs, programs with the explicit intent to convert Christians into Scientologists because Scientology is the state religion. That would be the actual answer. Hypothetically, if that were to happen, if, if I were able to answer that question. Um, I'm just a neutral third party. I'm just, I'm just admiring the efficacy of the, uh, the, uh, the United States government. $100 hammer, $500 converting a Christian into a Scientologist. 
So um, they they talk people uh, weird weird conspiracy theorists um, talk about like intelligence agencies um, communicating with with spirits or whatever. Um, uh, that's that is accurate in the if if you understand um, what the difference is between monism and dualism if you actually understand what a spirit is. Uh, again, a good example of what a spirit is, is hatred. Um, <sighs> people, it's really hard to explain this to people with a dualist mindset. It's, um, it's, it's self-similar and hierarchical. Spirits are hierarchical. It explains this in the Bible. And the rise and fall of spirits... Um, are cyclical and the cycles are self-similar and hierarchical it uh, explains this in great depth in I believe Hinduism um, just like we have cycles uh, of consciousness ourselves we go to sleep we wake up uh, cycles cycles within cycles within cycles rise and fall of demons so I don't necessarily believe um, this uh, revelation but I do I do agree with the concept of the rise and fall of demonic forces in the collective mind so the next question is who causes this who causes this I was talking about the the government just just now it's it's, it's just one scapegoat of a million scapegoats you could uh, come up with it's doesn't really matter doesn't doesn't really matter of course people that run this country people who run the establishment believe in revelation and they're purposefully trying to bring it about by increasing uh demonic activity it's it requires masses of people it requires millions and mil billions of people uh for something like this to happen it's not just you know uh, a handful of people with superpowers that that doesn't exist um it it requires systems put in place like hollywood to affect people's way of thinking over time um so for example putting out a lot of uh movies uh, with dualism dualism in them <laughs> why do they call it hollywood it's literally it's like they, it's in your face almost it's like they they don't even hide it like good <laughs> um but like i say it's it requires masses of people um with with hatred essentially it requires people to be hateful and 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 although i i'm not I'm not one of those end times freaks who's like, oh man, there's a lot of hatred and there was a tornado, so therefore it's like the end times. No, there's always hatred, there's always tornadoes. It's not the end times. And I think that believing in the end times is demonic. <laughs> um, but there is an increase in uh, hatred. I would, I would say that... Um, collectively there's there's a great increase in hatred um, uh, of many things many things um, but also more interestingly I, I I see that there is a collective hatred of particular ideas or things uh, that is shared among everyone Red te uh, Team Red and Team Blue both hate certain things collectively. Uh, for example, like uh, elites raping and cannibalizing children. Uh, that is a a hated thing. <laughs> that that is that is an idea that produces hatred. And the next thing I want to say is that. Um, in, in your psychology, there are a bunch of different variables, like how you're raised, what your personality is, 
uh, what you ate that morning, but also another variable is the collective mind. And when more people think a certain thing, then the spirit, that collective spirit gets stronger and influences people to a greater degree, so more people think that, so it gets even stronger. It's like a snowball. Um, so, hypothetically, if I were a hateful person, I'm not, see, I'm not justifying my hypothetical hatred uh, towards pedophile elites. <laughs> not justifying it, I'm just saying that it's just a part of natural reality that the collective mind is influenced by hatred. That's all I'm saying. Um, so, I'm not disagreeing with anything you're saying at all, except for dualism. I think that's, I think um, Christians in the United States within the past few decades are misguided because they don't um, follow what's in the Bible. It really irritates me that Christians all the time, they, there's these Christians, they say, oh, that person's not a Christian because they don't, they don't believe what I... <laughs> that really irritates me. Um, you know what? Y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all American Christians are not actual Christians. That, that's what I think. Uh, not, not actual Christians. Uh, <laughs> you're actually Scientologists. <laughs> and I actually care. See, I actually care. Um, me, me explaining my ideas, me um, making videos to try and teach what I've learned, the fundamentals of what I've learned, that's proof that I actually care. And I want... Um, I want to reach people in in a, in any way that I can. I'm not trying to justify uh, people's um, inability uh, or or lack of motivation to. People are not raised um, being taught the fundamentals, and they. They fling themselves into whatever framework uh, they submit, and they submit their mind and they become uh, mental slaves to whatever framework because they're not taught the fundamentals. <clears throat> and uh, and that's I'm just trying to. Anyway, if if I'm hateful, that's. That's on me. That's my shit I have to deal with. I know... I know that uh, it comes from... Caring. Um, but... Well, anyway. 